Today in this video, we'll discover some unbelievably amazing drugstore products and quite a stinker of a drugstore product. I am so excited for you guys to watch this video. So today I'm sharing a drugstore haul. These are things I have ordered recently. One or two of them I think I was sent in PR. Most of them I bought myself, but um, we're gonna try them on. I wanna show you what I've got. Most of these are brand new. Actually, I think all of these are brand new launches and some of them I've gotten a lot of buzz online. So I'm excited to try them on with you guys. And some of these, like I said, are so good. Like I can't wait to wake up tomorrow and get ready again and use them again. So we're gonna get into that. First, I wanted to take a second to thank today's video sponsor, which is Ritual. It is the start of a new year. A lot of us set goals, resolutions, whatever that looks like for you. For me, I call them goals because I feel like that kind of opens the door to be a little more lenient with yourself and create healthier habits, but not feel like it's all or nothing. Does that make sense? And maybe that's just my own connotation with the word goals versus resolutions. Regardless, one of the things that was one of my goals a few years ago actually was to take a multivitamin every day. I have stuck to that for years now and the multivitamin I have been using for years is from Ritual. I take their essential for women every single day. The way I made it a habit for myself is I have this in with my toothbrush. So every night when I'm brushing my teeth, which I do without fail each night, I see this. So when you stack a habit onto another habit that you're already doing, it makes it so much easier to make a new habit. And so that's basically what I did, habit stacking. So like I said, I take the essential for women. I love it because even if you have a pretty healthy diet, it's hard to get all of the nutrients your body needs. So the essential for women contains nine high quality nutrients from D3 to omega-3. It really just takes the guesswork out of it for me. I love how transparent Ritual is. If you go on their website, you can see what is in each vitamin, why it's in there, where it's sourced from, the environmental impact, it really goes into it. And I really think that's cool. And I like supporting brands that are doing that. But I also love that there's a mint tab in each bottle so it keeps the vitamin smelling nice and fresh. It's also really gentle on an empty stomach, which is huge. Plus they are vegan friendly, non-GMO, they're gluten-free, allergen-free, and there's no added sugar. So the best part is everyone in my family takes this. So they have a men's vitamin, they have a prenatal, which I took when I was pregnant, they have a postnatal, which I took afterwards, they have a kids, they have a teens, and they have a 50 plus. So they have something for everyone in your household. I absolutely love it. Genevieve takes the kids ones. Like I said, my husband takes the men's one and I am currently taking the essential for women, but they also have their essential protein range, which I really like. And they also have their symbiotic, which I've not tried yet. It's kind of on my radar. I might try soon. So if you are just wanting to start the new year off right and you want to try Ritual, I love that they are high quality. They are science backed. They are traceable. I just trust Ritual. And so if you want to try it out for yourself, you can get 30% off your first month by going to ritual.com slash Jessica B30 and then use code Jessica B30 at checkout. I'll have the link and everything right at the top of the description box for you if you want to check it out and thank you again to ritual for sponsoring this portion of the video all right so diving into the little haul try on goodness here i okay where do i begin with this i placed a couple of orders and one of the first ones i placed recently was from elf and they launched something that is very obviously supposed to be a dupe for one of my favorite products so i cannot wait to try it right now and that product is the elf sun touchable woe glow spf 30 sunscreen so it's sun protection it's a makeup primer it says it's got aloe hyaluronic acid squalane so it is very clearly do i have it with me here i don't know that i do because i use it daily at home it is very clearly to me supposed to be a dupe for the super goop glow screen which is like a top tier GME award winner like just so good so i can't wait to see if it actually is i have not swatched it i was intentionally waiting okay so right off the bat it doesn't look quite as like glowy so i have to say this it looks really similar it's not quite as glowy it but it's still glowy and you know what the number one complaint people have about the super goop People that don't like it, I love it, <laughs> but people that don't like it think it's too glowy. And so if that's you, this is, you know, a million times cheaper and it certainly is less glowy, but it does still have that glow. So let's put it on. Listen, I love the Super Goop, but I don't like the price point. I mean, obviously I'd rather not spend that, but I am willing. I've bought it many times, but I like that this is a sunscreen, but it's not leaving a white cast or anything. This is pretty. Do you see how it's like giving that glow, but it's not 
overly so. I am planning a dupes video very soon and the way that I do drugstore dupes videos is you see half high end, half not so, or you know I mean half drugstore. So when I do that video, this will be a part of it so you'll get to see the super goop next to it so you can kind of get an idea. And of course I can update you like in an Instagram story, but this is looking very pretty, definitely glowy, but not quite as, I don't want to say like Tin Manny because I don't think it looks like that, but I, I get what people are saying. Like if you're not into like high glow or if you were wanting to wear it alone, I don't think glow screen, it looks okay alone, but it, it maybe is a little much. This I would totally wear alone. Like just put it all over, use that as my kind of base for the day. And it looks so pretty and very hydrated and very like, Ooh, it looks juicy and healthy. Oh my gosh. Well, this may be going with me on my next trip because I am really, really digging the way that that looks. Oh my gosh. Elf, you've done it again. All right. So the next thing, this is something, again, I bought from the Elf website. I have not tried this in years. It is the Elf Flawless Satin Foundation. I tried it long ago and I loved it. That was like one of my holy grail foundations for so long, but the shades were always really weird and I would get the same shade to like repurchase it and it wouldn't look the same. And so I just, I don't know. I felt like the quality was just too bizarre. I couldn't trust that I could get the shade I actually wanted, etc. Now it looks like they've kind of redone it a little bit more and hopefully the shades are like stay true to what they say it is. Do you know what I'm saying? So I actually went a little bit darker than I think I normally would because this just looks like once it's on, I have a feeling it's gonna be a better shade match for me. So I got the shade 220 Beige. We are gonna see, but like I said, I remember loving this because it had like that medium plus coverage. It just looked so beautiful on the skin. Can you guys hear the church bells? I love that. Let me zoom y'all in just a little bit more. All right, so we're gonna try it. Like I said, I just, I loved the finish and look of this. I'm gonna try this cheek with my sponge and just see. Gosh, that looks so pretty. It's looking really nice on top of this sunscreen too. My chin has been looking so weird lately. <laughs> it's not even like, it's not like breakouts or anything. It's just like, I don't know. It's like weird. I'm sure it's hormonal, but I feel like it's just my chin has been like oilier than normal. I don't know. Okay, that blended in really easily on my nose, which is huge, and for me, that's always a telltale sign that it might be a foundation I like because ooh, some foundations I'll put on my nose and I'm like, uh, like that is where all lies are exposed because if it looks terrible on my nose, then I know because I know there are foundations that exist that look good on my nose and like the pores and you know what I mean. So I'm gonna try this side with a brush. I'm not a big foundation brush. Gal, I do like it from time to time. Okay, that just applied like a dream. <laughs> and again, when you've got a foundation that applies well with a brush and a sponge, you've got a special foundation. I'm just loving, actually, you know what? I think this looks better with the brush. Let me apply a little more. This brush, by the way, is definitely my recommendation for a foundation brush. The Haley's Beauty one I love, but I, I no, I use that one for foundation, but I also use it for um, cream bronzer. Mm. But this one is my favorite foundation brush. It's the BK Beauty 101 brush. Oh my gosh. Cause it's got enough surface area, but I like that it's like angled. You can like really get in there. I think, I know they gave me a code like 10% off. I'll put it, whatever I've got below if you are curious, cause their brushes are very nice. All right, so I don't have any on my forehead yet, but just looking at the bottom, that looks nice. That looks so nice. This is exciting because I feel like, I don't know, I've been craving some like really good makeup lately, especially base makeup. And this is making me very excited. So let me go ahead and put it on my forehead and we have so many other things to try. So many other things in this haul I'm excited to share. And a little shout out to this shade match because I did this online and it's looking perfect <laughs> for my skin. Like, oh my gosh. Now you feel like it is just so hard to find like an actual really good shade match for yourself. Everything is close, but like this is very, like I would feel confident in this match. Okay, so wow, this combo, absolutely gorgeous. Both of these separately, gorgeous. Well, I'm assuming this one will be gorgeous even without that, but yeah, uh, big fan. <laughs> All right, we gotta move on, Jess. Let me know, by the way, if you like, in, uh, like the try on style of hauls, because I feel like there are plenty of times I could film a haul, but I don't always have the time to like sit and like try it on. I don't know, let me know your thoughts. Okay, actually I need some concealer and brow and I'll be right back. So, uh, well, I'll just chat with you while I'm doing these other parts. So 
I was actually today, instead of this video, gonna film a 2023 goals video, but I've done it year after year and I feel like my goals are kind of similar. So I feel like doing it every year is not quite as helpful as I thought it might be. And I did my 2022 reflection video a few weeks ago, I'll link below. I definitely share a lot. I'm very <laughs> uh, vulnerable in that video. So definitely check it out if you missed that one. Kind of using that to take the place of my normal like 2023 goals. But yeah, that's all. <laughs> That's the whole story. I'm gonna throw in the NYX Thicket Stick It. I always feel like I have to kind of wipe this one off just a bit. What are the new drugstore launches that you guys are just so excited about? I'm curious, I feel like, I don't know. I'm, is the new year when a bunch of launches come out? I, I don't feel like I remember this being the case. Maybe it is and I'm just like not remembering it well. I don't know, I've been very excited about a lot of launches, that much I know. All right, let us try next the e.l.f. Luminous. I promise we're gonna do other brands. I'm realizing these are like all e.l.f. at first. We've got Milani, we've got Maybelline, we've got CoverGirl. So I also got the Luminous Putty Bronzers. I bought two shades because I really, one is clearly more like gray tone, like contour for my skin, and then this one's more warm tone. So I think I'm leaning to do like the more traditional bronzer shade. So this one, I'm gonna swatch both though, obviously. This one's in the shade Summer Fridays. Wait, no, that's a brand as well. That was confusing. So we're gonna swatch it. So they've had their putty bronzers out a while. These, this is their luminous one. It feels actually like a thinner formula. That is definitely luminous. Although I'm realizing I'm putting it on top of the glowy Primer, which I guess in theory I'll also be doing here. Let me swatch the contour shade. This one's in Vacay Mood. Maybe I'll do both. Maybe we'll just get crazy and do both. Oh, okay, this is a little, these are both more transparent, I think. Let me swatch it on my hand without something just to see. Maybe it's the primer. No. So yeah, these are a little more transparent, which means they're gonna be, well, I think will mean they're gonna be really easy to work with. We're gonna put it to the test, baby. I have to say, I, I do like the traditional e.l.f. putty bronzer, but I don't find myself reaching for it all the time because I do feel like every once in a while, because the pan is so small, I, it's more work to use it. I don't know, I like to dip my brush right in it and I use a bigger brush and it just can't fit, so it frustrates me, so then I just don't reach for it, you know? So this is actually their uh, putty blush brush. It's really small, so I might not want it for this, but I'm just kind of curious to see. So yeah, this is blending in easily because of that kind of transparent quality, which I like. I think it depends too on how strong of a bronzer look you like. You know what I mean? Like if you want it to be super obvious, you might not like this formula, but it's really pretty so far. Let me try, I'm gonna actually place the like contour shade where I would normally put it. Yeah, you can kind of see. I might really like this though. I think honestly, you could probably, it almost blends away, I, you know what I mean? But this is reminding me, it's a totally different formula, but the look of the KVD Mod Con gel contour stuff, because that can look very, very understated because again, it's got like a really transparent look to it. I'm gonna try to wipe off some of this. I'm gonna use that putty blush one for the contour area. Because I think pressing it in is the moves, because if you rub too much, I think it's just kind of rubbing it away. That looks really nice. Let's throw a little more over here then. Because yeah, you could tell like most of this on this side had rubbed away from using maybe too dense of a brush, but also rubbing it too much. This is looking really nice. So let me pop back to the Summer Friday shade. I mean, I could obviously, you could use any of these anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Just wanna use them both. I feel like e.l.f., and maybe this is true for any brand, I just feel like I always have my radar on e.l.f. because they do launch a lot of good products. There are some stinkers in there, don't get me wrong, but I feel like they go through like phases where they're launching so many amazing products like at a time that you can't keep up, and then there are times where they're like dormant, <laughs> and maybe that's just how they do it. Okay, I am digging these. I don't think they're gonna be for everyone. I have a feeling some people won't like these because they are that transparent quality. They're not the most obvious, but I think this looks so natural and pretty. And I could keep going and building it up more. I think that's why I like them. I feel like they're easy to use, they're easy to apply. They're not gonna look super splotchy or weird. I actually really did like the e.l.f. Putty Blush little like brush. I would probably typically use a bigger one, but definitely a stippling brush I do think is gonna be the move for something like this because it I was able to press it in. I will be curious to try it. I don't think I have one with me here. I'd be curious to try it with my Haley's Beauty brush that I use all the time for cream bronzer. So I'll have to try it with that and let you know because that is like my ultimate. It always looks nice. 
And I have a feeling that is going to like transform these and level them up even more. But I am actually really surprised at how much I like it. And they don't look too glowy. I mean, my skin looks glowy just because of the primer, but I don't think these themselves, once they're actually blended on, look wildly glowy, but just enough that it looks really healthy skin is the name of the game today. I, I used a um, crimper, not a crimper, I wish, <laughs> a uh, waver, which is basically a glorified crimper. Anyway, on my hair today, because I'd thrown some dry shampoo in it and stuff. Um, I haven't done that in a while and it's so fun. I think it's just kind of, it makes me think of the 80s in a very lovely way. Oh, I'm excited about the lipstick we're gonna try. Okay, let's try some eyeshadow. So this is the Milani Gilded Mini. This is in, it's all rosé. Now this, they sent to me, if I'm remembering right, a little while ago. So this was not bought, I'm trying to think. I know the Maybelline Color CoverGirl ones I bought. Okay, so I love a good kind of rosy tone. I wish, just looking at the, oops, did I seriously just dig ugh, my fingers into the shadow? An idiot. I wish that the shimmers were a little more shimmery. Not glittery, but like, I don't know, juicy? But we're gonna see, because I haven't even swatched it, so I might be, ooh. That's pretty. Okay, so those two shades look very similar. That's a little more gold, clearly, but they, they do look similar. Let's try this shimmer. But they are pretty. They're definitely like a thinner formula of shimmer. I actually like a thick, thick daddy shimmer. So this one does not have a ton of pigmentation, this shade here. Well, it can. I guess that's just it. It was just blending in my skin. I bet I will like that on my brow bone. But these two mattes right there look pretty good. So let's just give her a whirl. I'm gonna start with let's do the gold yeah definitely can pack a punch so maybe i take back what i said but yeah i like like a thicker shimmery like the Too faced shimmer eyeshadow formula is one of my favorites this is looking really pretty i feel like i find with drugstore palettes and quads and like little palettes i don't know what it is but whoever's putting the colors together for whatever reason the way that i tend to like doing eyeshadow i feel like it's never the colors i would have combined or like i always feel like it's missing one kind of shade. And this is so particular to me, you know what I mean? But we all know what we like. And every time I'll look at, even looking at this, I'm like, I feel like it needs that one more like kind of medium shade to help blend it. But that's based on my skin tone and like what I like. But I'm curious if you feel the same way. Like, do we all just feel like none of, none of them do exactly what I want? So I'm gonna try this kind of medium-ish pinky shade. I feel like these kinds of colors can look really pretty especially if you have green eyes. Oh my gosh. I have like hazel eyes and it's, I think it looks nice with hazel eyes too, which is why I tend to gravitate towards pinky type shades. Yeah, this is blending. This is feeling very high end. This is blending so easily. My test like in my brain is if I were trying this without knowing what brand it was, the price point, anything, would I think this was high end and this is performing like a very, I mean, look how nicely that's just easily Blended, you know? Let's try a little of this light shade just on the brow bone here. Yeah, so simple. Um, I'll top it with this shade here. I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference, but just kind of tap it in the center. Yeah, the shades are just too similar. I like them both, but they're just very similar. I like it though. So let me throw on some liner and then the mascara we are gonna try. Ooh, baby. This is the one that like really has broken the internet and people have strong feelings, so I can't wait to try it. All right, so the mascara that is has people feeling away is the Milani Highly Rated Mascara. So this is supposed to be a tubing mascara. I am the self-proclaimed tubing mascara queen. I'm just kidding, kind of. I love tubing mascara, and so if you have heard of it but you don't really know what it is, basically it's a mascara type, and it is different than like traditional mascaras and waterproof mascaras it basically forms little tubes around your lashes. And that sounds really weird and gross. It doesn't look different. It's just, I guess, the science behind it. It's just the understanding of it. So the reason I like tubing mascaras is that they don't smudge. Whatever that formula is, there's no like smudging, there's no little flaking, and they come off like that with warm water. You don't even need to make a remover. So I love it for that reason. I feel like it stays on better. I don't lose lashes. Cause like with waterproof, I feel like it stays on really well, but then I end up losing lashes if I'm using waterproof mascara all the time. So that is why I love it. So the problem is most of my favorite tubing mascaras are high-end ones. And I really, I know there are drugstore tubing mascaras. I have tried most of them, you guys. They just don't compare to the other ones I love. So my favorites are the Tartlet tubing mascara and then the Thrive Cosmetics one I like, but honestly, it's been a few years since I've tried it, but the Tarte, Tartlet tubing mascara is top tier. 
This Milani one is supposed to also be a tubing mascara. So we're gonna see how it goes. Um, I have read uh, that it is a pretty wet formula and it might behoove you to wipe off the brush before you go in with it. I don't know, we're gonna find out. But it's got a really rubbery brush that's slightly flexible. Yeah, we're just gonna see. I'm gonna, I guess I'll wipe it off first. I'm just gonna try it. I'm like nervous. Okay, yeah, it's super wet, oh my gosh instantly getting it everywhere. I don't know, you guys. So far, I mean, this is literally the first time I'm trying it. It's, do you see how it's just clumping? The Tarte one does not do that. I mean, it might have a clump here and there from time to time, but like, this is so wet. It is such a wet formula. I, I haven't used a formula like this in a minute. I don't need to have like a comb here with me. Let me just use a brow one. Brush through, I can't even like. I just feel like I literally have like five lashes. Oh, I really wanna like this. I really wanna like this. I'm dying to find a drugstore one that I like. I'm tired of spending $20 on mascara for that. So we're gonna try to get on the other side. I am gonna wipe this off really well. <laughs> Seems to defeat the purpose. But we got a lot off. Let me see if that helps. Even with less, I just feel like it's not grabbing all the little lashes that I want it to. Do you see what I mean? They're just kind of looking lackluster. So it may still be a tubing formula in that, and I'll have to let you know, I can pop, um, down in the description box how this wore and uh, how it removed. So I'll let you know, I'll pop that down in the info box. My thing is if you have to wipe it off super well for it to work and really I'm not loving the way it looks even like that. It's looking still, it literally looks like I have like four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lashes over there. I don't think so guys. I mean, obviously it can still look fine. I don't think it's like so horrendous like if you owned it, but I, Actually, now that I'm saying, I'm like, I don't even want to use this again. I will because in the name of science, I, 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 my fingers are just a mess with this stuff. I have not had to work this hard for mascara in a minute. Have you guys tried this? Are you having the same experience? So that now I can see why it's been kind of hotly contested. But here's the thing. Some people like wet formula. So I could see if you like a wet formula mascara, you might really like this. But for me, I like to have a little more volume. I like to see more of my lashes. Like I don't like them clumped together. Like it's just not look good. Ooh, I was all excited about my good makeup day. I'm loving my skin. <laughs> I'm loving the eyeshadow. I'm like tempted to try a second layer, you know? It's adding a little more volume, okay. Tubing mascaras are not ideal uh, layering mascaras because they really do, you know, once they kind of dry in place, that's the way they are. You know what I mean? They're not easy to like re-separate. So I think you can make it look okay, but it is way too much work. What are your thoughts on this? I really wanted to like this. I have to say Milani is not, like I love a lot from their their brand. I have not found many Milani mascaras that I like. Like they just miss the mark most of the time for me. Maybe it's a preference thing, but let me know your thoughts. Are you mad at me for not liking this? Do you love it? How do you make it work? Do you like a wet formula? So curious. So next thing is this powder foundation. So it's from Maybelline. I ordered this from Ulta a little while ago and haven't tried it. So it's their Superstay Hybrid Powder Foundation, 24 hour wear, wow. Uh, it says weightless and comfortable feel, sweat resistant, water resistant, wow. Full coverage, long lasting matte finish. So I'm assuming hybrid is like a hybrid between foundation and powder if that's what they mean, but that is just what a powder foundation is. But hey, marketing baby. So I'm gonna put it in my T zone. I don't wanna use too much because I'm actually liking the finish and also the shade might be a little too dark be just right who knows oh wow that is some cover oh it looks nice though it really like smoothed that area i'm really enjoying the elf camo powder foundation i love powder foundation for my weird chin my weird nose just my t-zone basically because it soaks up that bit of oil but it really blurs and this is really doing that like that looks so so nice but I don't, I don't want to use it here because I'm really enjoying the way that looks. But a lot of times too throughout the day, if I'm noticing like, especially this region here can look kind of weird with like maybe bronzer wearing off or whatever. That's, I love powder foundation for that because you can just tap in that area and I feel like it just kind of evens things out. So really enjoying this. So I love the e.l.f. camo. This is feeling very similar. I'll have to kind of try them side by side someday soon and maybe update you on my Instagram. How like comparing the two, if you were going to get the e.l.f. versus the Maybelline. Hmm. I can't find my camo powder foundation. I think I brought it with me somewhere and I must have left it. And then I, I remember buying another shade and it was way wrong. So I need to remember what was my original shade. And then if you know my original shade, from, please let me know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back in videos and figure it out. Yeah, I need to order it again because I absolutely love it. So I would say if you're placing like a, 
e.l.f. order on their site, get the camo powder foundation. Definitely get this. Oh my gosh. I'm really enjoying the flawless finish and the luminous putty. Good job, e.l.f. I have this lipstick. Well, I guess I should throw on some blush, huh? If you are new to my channel and you're just like stumbling upon this video, hi, I'm Jessica. Thanks for coming in. I guess I should have said this earlier. I do a lot of like vlogs on my channel, but I also do makeup videos. I love drugstore dupes and drugstore makeup too. So I hope you'll subscribe, stick around. I can link some of my more popular drugstore focused videos if you wanna watch a couple more and maybe decide if you wanna subscribe. I hope you do. So this, well, speaking of drugstore, this is not drugstore, Laura Mercier watermelon blush is so like fresh. Listen, I'm excited for spring, I don't care. <laughs> no, I can wait a little bit longer. I can deal with a little more winter. All right, this lipstick looks so pretty. And let me rephrase, these shades. I already love this lipstick line. It's the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lipstick. These are so beautiful. I like specifically their cream line. They have like matte, they have other, I like the matte too. But these are part of their cream line and there's Caramel Kiss. Honey Bloom and Darling Kiss. Let me swatch them because I don't know which one I want to wear. I'm thinking definitely pinky because we got some pink going on. I am feeling the spring vibes today, aren't I? I have really been rediscovering just classic lipstick lately. I feel like I've just been falling in love with it all over again. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. The formula is just so comfy, you know? Hold on, I have a Costco quiche in the oven <laughs> for lunch. Hold on. You've not tried a Costco quiche. All right, so we've got Darling Kiss, Honey Bloom, and Caramel Kiss. Very, very pretty. I think I'm gonna go with this fun pinky one. And I'm wondering, knowing my lips, I think, let me just try Caramel Kiss on just to see. I think this might be one that's a little too light for what I like. Well, actually, with like a good lip line, I don't know. I think it's a little too light for what I, yeah. I'm not, I'm not wanting to do that. I bet it would look really pretty like with the darker light lip liner. You know, you can kind of do like the ombre lip, but I'm not gonna, I know myself, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna see if one of my sisters want that. All right, so let's try Darling Kiss. I might need to throw a lip liner on, but let's just put it on and just see. It's very similar to my lip color, but just like pinker, you know? This form is just so comfy, you know? Such a good like everyday lipstick. That looks so just nice. That just looks so nice. So yeah, definitely recommend this brand. Okay, it doesn't make your teeth look yellow. You know how some pinks can, I don't think it does. But yeah, and it's really thin. I do feel like if you are into like a, a thicker opaque type lipstick, you probably won't like this line, but if you like a more just like kind of chill lipstick feel, you might really like it. Honestly, if you want more opaque, I would go with the Milani ones. I can link below the color fetish. Those are beautiful and they definitely have more like punch to them. Although the CoverGirl ones, if you go the matte route, you'll get more punch. But anyway, these are really like thin formula, very comfortable, it just looks nice. So I tend to do these kinds of haul try-ons and talk about like, okay, now that I've tried it on, what are like my top two or three products that like, if you were like, I wanna order some, I just wanna order something new, these are the ones after this first impression that I would recommend. So the number one recommendation from this video would be the e.l.f. Woe Glow SPF 30. This, like I said, is going on my trip with me. It was so beautiful to put on. It's slightly less glowy than the Super Goop and it is so much cheaper. Oh, I have the shade Sunbeam if you were curious. I don't know how many shades they have. And I love that it's still like makeup set really well on top of it. It didn't pill up or anything weird like that. And that's huge because some sunscreens do not do that. So number one recommendation from this video for sure. And number two would be the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. It's just as pretty as I remembered. Honestly, it might be more pretty than I remembered. And I just, I love the way my skin is looking right now. I actually, even though I like the powder foundation, I was enjoying how glowy it was. So I kind of wish I hadn't put this on. So tomorrow when I'm getting ready, I'll probably just use this with the foundation, no powder, because I was liking how it was looking. I thought it looked really nice. And then next, I think I would recommend, I really like the Luminous Putty Bronzer, but I do, I need to just mess with it more because I feel like I need to find the exact right brush. I liked the brush I used, but I do feel like it took a little longer because it's a small brush. And so I'd rather try to use one of my larger ones, see how I like it. So I think my other third, you know what I mean, my top three, the third one is the Milani Gilded Mini. I do have another one I didn't try. So the one I tried today is It's All Rosé. I just realized I didn't say it. But if you want more of like a traditional neutrals one with some shimmer, this one is called Call Me Old Fashioned. And it's got a couple shimmers that look really pretty and a couple mattes. So um, yeah, I and I know they had a couple other ones as well, but these were the two that like caught my eye. Everything else, you guys know which is the worst product in this one, this mascara. It's also a shame because they nailed the packaging. It's so pretty. Again, I'm sure it was meant to be a dupe for the Thrive Cosmetics. I mean, they literally even use the same color. 
you know, but uh, yeah. So I hope that this was enjoyable, fun. Maybe you learned something new. Maybe you were just hanging out with me. I think that's cool too. So again, thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this video. If you want to check out Ritual for yourself, you can get 30% off your first month. Just go to ritual.com slash Jessica B30 and use my code, which is Jessica B30 at checkout. Thank you Ritual for supporting my channel. Thank you guys for supporting my channel and watching this video. Give it a thumbs up, comment below with your favorite product. Or like I asked earlier, what is that drugstore launch that you're like, ooh, I can't wait till it comes out or I can't wait to get my hands on it. Let me know what that is below because I am just like, I'm there right now, like I am into it. There's something about the new year. I just get so excited about all the new launches that I feel like are happening. But I, do you know what I'm asking? Like, does this, is the new year when they launch? I don't know why I can't like, it doesn't feel like it is, but then again, it also kind of does. Anyway, none of this matters. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.